A little boy born of a Dalit Maha family who was considered untouchables, facing all the humiliation in the school, in college, in the society but standing still for the rights of the lower class, for the equality, liberty and basic human rights, became the father of Indian constitution. One of the most respectable freedom leaders. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was born on the 14th of April 1891 to an officer in the Indian Army. His father retired in 1894 and the family moved to Satara two years later. Shortly after their move, Ambedkar's mother died. Since childhood, he faced the lack of resources just because of being a Maha, a lower caste in Hindu religion. Of his brothers and sisters, only Ambedkar passed his examinations and went to school. Later, awarded a scholarship by the Gayakwad ruler of Baroda, he studied at universities in the United States, Britain, and Germany. He entered the Baroda public service at the Gayakwad request, but, again ill-treated by his high-caste colleagues, he quit in a short time. However, after that, he tried many ways to make a living for his growing family. He first worked as a private tutor, then as an accountant, and even established an investment consulting business, but it failed when his clients learned that he was untouchable. Later became a professor of political economy, although he was successful with the students, other professors objected to his sharing a drinking water jug with them. Before the Southborough Committee, which was preparing the Government of India Act 1919, he argued for creating separate electorates and reservations for untouchables and other religious communities. While he was practicing law in the Bombay High Court, he there tried to promote education to untouchables and uplift them and thus established Bahishkrit Hitakarini Sabha. For the Dalit rights, he started five periodicals. By the year 1927, Ambedkar launched full-fledged movements for Dalit rights. He demanded public water sources open to all and right for all castes to enter temples. These movements disturbed the higher caste Brahmins and thus faced a lot of objections. Upon India's independence of 15 August 1947, the new Congress-led government invited Ambedkar to serve as the nation's first law and justice minister, which he accepted. On the day of August 29, he was appointed as chairman of the Constitution Drafting Committee and was appointed by the Constituent Assembly to write India's new constitution. He had studied and chosen the best from the constitutions of about 60 countries. Ambedkar is recognized thought out the world as the father of the constitution of India. The struggle was a part of Baba Sahib's life as he had to work hard for everything he achieved. While he is being remembered for his restless sacrifice and struggle for a new social order, the Indian nation shall always remain indebted to him for giving us a constitution that defines our core values as a nation. However good a constitution may be, if those who are implementing it are not good, it will prove to be bad. However bad a constitution may be, if those implementing it are good, it will prove to be good. I is a battle, not for wealth, nor for power, ours is battle, for freedom, for reclamation of human personality. Life should be great rather than long.